So right here, I just want to show you a little um, diagram that is uh, uh, depicting the kind of databases we need as basic, very basic for job recruitment. Okay. And then, of course, we can build more. So first of all, at the heart of our design is the users table. So we need users. And there are two different types of, or more than two different types of users we need. The first type is the admin which is me, all right, the owner of the site, or you, the, the, the designer of the site. Then we need moderators. A moderator is somebody that the owner of the site employs to manage the platform. So let's say we build this app, and tomorrow it's having millions of users, you know, maybe we became a unicorn. Uh, you wouldn't expect the developer to be the one to be managing user recruitment and stuff like that, okay? Uh, it has to be some employees and these employees would not have the same powers as the admin so whenever you're creating a site it's good to create that just in case you need that user level tomorrow so now the next type of user is the employee or the applicants okay so these employees what they are uh, just basically employees uh, basically people that are looking for jobs and then the next one you need are employers all right so these are basically people that run organizations and then these organizations uh, do recruitment okay so um, we need skills table so every user has um, every job seeker has a lot of skills so i'm going to call them seeker okay going forward every seeker has uh, skills so for instance the first skill could be html second skill could be css third skill could be php and so on and then every user has an account just in case we want to monetize this this is account that has to do with money not like user account so where we can keep the account balance maybe we can say users you have to pay us before you can add more skills so you just need to add two skills free if you want to list more of your skills and improve your chances of uh, getting discovered by employers cool that is you just need to pay us xyz amount so this is where we keep that um, record now there are more tables we could create for instance uh let's say job postings uh, most uh, job platforms usually start from that angle where there's a job posting and the user can apply which is invite themselves so we're going to put all the applications and the invitations inside one folder the, inside one table so we can just use a field to determine whether it's an invitation or an application now there, there's a difference between invitation and application let's say the employer comes into our platform and they're looking for a php developer they're going to search for php and when after searching for php they're going to see users or job seekers that have php skills now they can click on the job seekers profile to invite them to an interview maybe an email will pop up all right email gmail whatever will pop up and they can send them an email to invite them or uh, whatever else like whatsapp they are the users whatsapp will pop up so that they can be invited all right so this is an invitation table we can also use it for applications so we're going to treat applications as invitations because if they are basically the same thing we don't need to create a special table for it if a user goes to see a job posting and they click apply they are basically inviting themselves to an interview now the owner of that job posting will have to um, accept the invitation all right okay good now we're good what we can do uh, going forward is to also create a table somewhere i wanted to put it here but um it's gonna mess up my design so let me just put it that there's a table we're gonna call it job postings okay so one thing i can call it is jobs jobs job jobs jobs postings okay remember that we could also have one more table uh, that we're gonna call organizations because sometimes we need organization detail organization so all your tables in laravel need to be in plural for laravel to be able to do things automatically for you 
all plural and um, no capital letters okay all your tables all plural no capital letters it's a rule in laravel all your database tables must be all plural no capital letters okay so here is one way our application can work an employer comes to our application and they create a job posting let's say they are looking for a php developer so they create a job opportunity job posting right so this job posting is listed and now all the users that are related or connected to the job posting their skills match they will be automatically listed under that job posting as a suggestion all right now there is a suggestion this uh, employer can start inviting them another way it can also work is if this user logs into their dashboard they can see jo suggested jobs these are jobs job postings that the skills here match the skill this user has so they're going to see suggested jobs and it's going to be beautiful all right so another way we can do it is that the the job postings are, may not be posted by a user maybe it might be posted by an organization so when you're looking at the job posting you are seeing the organization you don't see the username okay because it's the organization that is recruiting not necessarily the user we can make sure that the two names appear the username and the organization they are representing it's okay depending on how to how we want to do it in future so if facebook is recruiting i don't want to see mark zuckerberg is looking for a php developer no what i want to see is facebook is looking for a php developer all right i don't need to know who actually created it i mean from the from the employee's perspective but from the admin perspective we we know who did what okay so now you understand the tables we need in the next video we will start creating these tables one by one and uh, create the migrations for all of them after creating the migrations we run php artisan migrate refresh so that it will recreate these tables in our database thank you very much see you in the next video